<laughs> Get away from me, man. <laughs> Yo, guys, what you think about that setup? You think you can do this to me? What you think? That was the craziest setup. <laughs> Is guys, is Bruce the biggest hustler ever? According to Bruce, the financier, which is low, paid him 20 million to obtain a photo with Obama in 2012. Twenty million for a photo. That's a lot. A hell of a photo. But I think the photo was probably also probably also had to do with him getting in the party in the first place, you know? Things yeah. like that. So the question is what happened to that twenty that twenty? Because twenty mil. Maybe there was bribery involved or something to that extent. But twenty mil is a lot. 20 mil to get into the... There's a lot of money. Well, if it's not your money, who cares, right? Because it's, it wasn't his money. <laughs> According to the story, the guy embezzled or... Oh, well, he misappropriated. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, if you want to understand that joke, go watch... One uh, uh, the previous show uh, about uh, uh, um, Pat McAfee and 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 Brad Favre, where we talk about misappropriation of funds. Okay. Well, according, let me share my source because otherwise people might might think suing us is the right way. This is from Vibe.com, guys. Um, process uh, pled not guilty on federal counts of conspiracy and falsifying records. The charges are tied to low alleged crimes in which he ha he was accused of stealing 4.5 billion from Malaysia's one MBD sovereign wealth fund. 4.5 billion. He was a billionaire, so a 20 million is nothing. It's nothing. It's like pocket change. Yeah, that's like putting. One dollar in, into the the picture booth. <laughs> <laughs> now I can take a picture with the wow. Yeah, yeah. But that's quite crazy. He paid him twenty million. Well, it's alleged that the twenty million was used for other things, but that's what they say. There are a lot of people that are also tied into this because Low was also. The producer in one of the in, in one of our in our time one of the most iconic movies ever. Wolf of Wall Street. He was a producer. He he fucked up some change. Yeah. Great movie. Great movie. It who took some. Known, who took, 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 took <laughs> <laughs> you you go first. You go first. <laughs> Took some pointers from Jordan Belfort as well. <laughs> I wanted to say the movie is about conning people and it was funded with con money. Oh my god. He probably played, paid someone 20 mil to get next to Jordan Belfort as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, maybe we hey, maybe this this is the start for a new movie, RJ. Yeah. The movie about a movie. About someone who stole money. <laughs> Maybe a <in> Mississippi. <laughs> Allegedly. 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 This is the crazy. Maybe there's a there is a Wolf of Wall Street 2. Maybe there's Wolf of Wall Street 2. Maybe this Hollywood, is Wolf of Wall Street 2. This is Wolf of Wall Street 2. Hollywood loves to use already existing existing names to rebrand movies. That are gonna be shitty anyway. Um, <laughs> maybe this is their way. They're they're opening a door which they will walk through. Yeah. Wolf of Wall Street True, with Leonardo DiCaprio playing himself in it. Because guys, <laughs> <laughs> believe it or not, he also got into <laughs> entangled into this. 
He was testifying at the trial earlier this month, and he claimed that Lowe's reputation of being some sort of a prodigy in the business world really impressed him. I don't know what kind of prodigy that is, but hmm. I guess I guess a produ producer. Maybe I think as producer, probably. No, in the business world, he was so Lowe really had this thing as being a successful businessman. And that's how he presented himself. And I think I think Pros, from what I understand, Pros was the, the person who was kind of the, the the connector, the guy who would present him to new people. Pros was making money being being an, uh, introducing people to another. Yeah. I mean, yeah. there are those people in the world, right? I heard last time around, I heard someone who was connecting a buyer of a yacht with a seller. And he got out of that, he got like two million only by being the middleman, rich middleman in that case. The plug, the plug, yeah. Only thing you got to make sure is the <laughs> that one party is legit. <laughs> in this case, Pross didn't worry about whether it was legit or not. And now you're caught up. He didn't now let any, he didn't let something like due diligence and ethics stand in the way of business getting done. Guys, let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments what you think about the, the case. Have you heard about it before? Have you, have you, do you know any lyrics of write down, <laughs> write down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go there, guys. Write down in the comments the most memorable lines from Pras. <laughs> <laughs> Write it down. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments. Hey, man, this is crazy. And do you know that if um, if if he he gets convicted, he will get about twenty two years. Hmm. That's serious time, man. Mm -hmm. That is serious time. And he doesn't have anyone to... Will, will Joe Biden... Pardon him. <laughs> can can, can, <laughs> can Pross connect Joe <laughs> to another billionaire? Then probably he can be pardoned, yes. Well, well... If you have to believe certain news outlet, then Joe already has connections to China. Oh. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> we don't know said, anything that, here at the Double Thought Show. <laughs> that's why I said, if you have to believe, that's why I explicitly said. Some sources. That's, ex that's why I ex uh, ex specifically said, if you have to believe. 20 million for a picture, guys. Make sure make sure when you're asking 20 million for your picture, you, think you don't get caught up in, in, in the BS. Because this is where we are now. This is where we are. He's facing time. For being affiliated to that... Uh, that that Joe Low guy. The question we can also ask is: Is this the first time? Pras has been an informal CI, confidential informant, or an informant? Has he been telling on hip hop for a while now? What are the chances, RJ? Come on, man. That's, that's... <laughs> <laughs> so you get to so you <laughs> so you can, you can formulate <laughs> what you want to say in a question come on man for plausible for plausible deniability I can't even do it <laughs> and you want me to comment you can't make this shit up you can't make this shit up get, get away from me man <laughs> Yo, guys, what you think about that setup? You think you can do this to me? What you think? That was the craziest setup. <laughs> <laughs>
you can formulate it as a question. <laughs> so, so, and, and you want me to answer it? Come on, man. Get the hell away from me. Guys, man. let us do it in the comments. Has he told a white clef shaw? Has he told a white clef shaw before? As an informal <laughs> informant. <laughs> White clef, uh, whoa, yo, yo. White clef was running for president or wanted to run for president. Uh, Yele Heidi, you know, you remember the, that one? What happened no. to Yele Heidi? I think there was rumors that that uh, money was uh, disappeared from Yele Heidi allegedly. Don't remember that. No. Oh, my, my, yo. You, you think, guys. Yeah, you don't remember. No. I remember. 